Leo. This is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. We are here to look at your week of 4th of July, 2022. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, if you're seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. This week you can expect, well, I mean, it's 4th of July, so parades, cookouts, some kind of live entertainment's going on around you guys. Uh, I'm also looking for the signing of a legal document with you. Um, something very upbeat, very positive. Some of you, it could be settlements. It could be um, large lease and or a purchase. Time to get the rest that you need while you can. It's kind of like the calm before the storm. Some secrets are going to be revealed. Keep your energy positive. Stop beating yourself up over something. For whatever reason, a cancer energy may or may not resonate. First card up. You guys got the Empress. The Mother card. Positive changes on the home front. I, I'm seeing painting. So maybe some of you are doing um, painting a room or renovating a room. We do have here with that the Ten of Air. Okay, and this tells me there's some healing that you need to do. For some of you, it's of the physical realm. And for some of you, it's of the mental, emotional realm. Okay, so take some time to yourself. Then we have the Ace of Air. Okay, and this tells me we're under a new beginning. And the new beginning is in communication. This is someone reaching out to you or you reaching out to you. That perhaps you have not communicated with in, in quite some time. But the, your new beginning this week is in communication. The next card up we have is the Three of Water. Unexpected celebration. And I do want to throw out the word unexpected. This could be an unexpected get-together. This could be an unexpected going to dinner. It's three or more people. Okay? But a lot of fun. Center of the reading, we have the messenger of or earth coming in. Um, this is going to be a messenger card. The message is the nine of fire. This is what I call the bajiggity card. <laughs> it tells me that you are like a cat on a hot tin roof. You're excited, you're anxious, you're overwhelmed, you're happy, you're sad. You are all that all at once. And you need to know for the time frame that you're in, Leo is just fine. It's, it's nothing wrong with feeling that way, okay? You may also be dealing with another fire sign, which your fellow fire signs are going to be Aries or Sagittarius. We have the Four of Fire, okay? Four of Fire coming in with happiness and contentment in the love life. Now, this applies to my singles as well as it does to my couples. If you are single, this could be someone offering you a relationship. If you're in a couple, that love could extend to family and friends as well. But it's also let me know that if you're in a relationship, you could be ascending to another level like marriage, commitment, engagements, things of that nature. Could be date night as well. Beside that, we have the eight of fire. Look at there, Leo. You guys are all about love all of a sudden. Okay. And the eight of fire is indicating total happiness, total contentment with the love arrows flying around. So, yeah. All about the love life. And then we have the Ten of Fire. A lot of fire going on for my fire signs. Ten of Wands tells me that you are overcoming your obstacles. You've gathered them up. You've put them to the side. You're creating another path. You're creating a better path. Bottom line is you're, you're making a simpler way of doing things. Okay? So let's continue on. We're still looking at this is Leo and this is your week of... July 4th. More messages for you guys. Okay. And what do we have? We have the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is asking you to open your heart. Open your heart to give love. Open your heart to receive love. Also I want to throw out there that um, a Scorpio energy may resonate. Then we have the Six of Wands. Look at this card. You're like the King of the Mountain. Okay. This indicates total victory, complete success, that you're surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by. Some of you guys have an audience, okay? Maybe you're a tarot reader. I don't know. But you've got an audience of some sort. You're in the spotlight this week. And we do have the Knight of Cups. Someone coming in with an unexpected offer of assistance. For some of you, it could be an unexpected offer of love. Now... On the three of water, we have the seven of cups. This tells me 
things are finally falling into place for you guys. Things that you've been manifesting since I'm going to go back to you for, for Leo, maybe I'm going to say somewhere between March to May. Things you want to see line up and fall in place are really now starting to fall in place. Now, on that center of the reading message, your next message is the High Priestess. The High Priestess says, you got this. You're grounded. You're centered. You're intuitive. You need to tap in and trust your intuition. But you also need to know that as a fire sign that has very little patience, delays may be in your favor this week. Okay? So if a delay comes up, don't question it. On your nine of fire, we have the Empress, the same way we started off with your reading. The mother card, positive changes on the home front, on the four of fire. For a small percentage of you, I want to say too, there could be news of a pregnancy. Um, on the four of fire, we have the king of swords. Now, this is uh, you taking authority. This is you being true, true to yourself. It's like I've done A, B, and C, so now I'm putting my foot down and we're going to do X, Y, and Z. And we're going to do things this way. And for some of you, a Libra energy may or may not resonate. On your eight of fire, look at there, we have the magician. The magician is the highest card in the tarot deck. This is your yes answer. This is getting everything you want and desire. Uh, it's right there on the table before you. For whatever reason, a cat is jumping out here. So maybe 